states of matter. Everything around us, including ourselves, contain matter. Matter is something that has mass and occupies space. The mass of a thing refers to the amount of matter present in it. The weight of an object is how heavy it is and is measured in units like kilograms or pounds. For example, if a book weighs 1 kg, it means that it has a mass of 1 kg. Just like everything has a weight, everything occupies space. The amount of space taken up by an object is called its volume. For instance, a block of wood takes up a certain amount of space, which is determined by its size. All objects on earth, whether they are big or small, take up some space. Properties of matter We understand different things because they have different qualities or properties. These properties help us see what makes one thing different from another. Let's learn more about them. Looks We can tell what something is by looking at it. We see how big or small it is, what shape it has, and what it looks like. Composition of Matter All things are made up of tiny parts called molecules, which are groups of atoms struck together. Atoms are so small that we can't see them without a special tool. The molecules in each thing are special and different. If you look at a small piece of sugar and a small piece of salt with a magnifying glass, you can see that sugar and salt crystals look very different from each other. States of Matter In nature, matter exists in three different states. It can exist as solid, liquid or gas. Water exists in liquid form at room temperature. Let us do the following activities to understand the state of matter. Task 1. Take some water in a glass. Pour the water in a nice tray and put it in the freezer. After an hour or so, it is observed that the water has turned into ice. Keep a piece of ice in a plate. Ice has a definite shape and is hard to touch. It is a solid form of water. Task 2. Heat some water in an open pan. It will be observed that water vapor rises from the surface of the water. Water vapor has no shape. It cannot be held in an open container. Water vapor is the gaseous form of water. Thus, it is seen that water can exist in all three states of matter. A substance can exist in different states due to the differences in the arrangement of its molecules. Let us know how. Solids The molecules in solids attract one another very strongly. Therefore, they are tightly packed and remain almost fixed in their place. These molecules show very little movement. They only vibrate about their positions. Due to this tight arrangement of molecules, solid has a definite shape and volume. For example, a book has a definite shape and size. It stays the same whether you put it in your bag or place it on a table. Solids are rigid and do not flow. We can hold solids in our hands. So this is the arrangement of molecules in solids. Liquids The molecules in liquids do not attract one another as strongly as the molecules in solids. Therefore, they are loosely packed and the space between their molecules is more than that in solids. Therefore, these molecules show some movement. So the molecules of a liquid move around freely within the liquid. Due to the weak intermolecular force of attraction, molecules in liquids can slide over each other. So this is the arrangement of molecules in liquids. Task 3. Take a glass of water, slowly add 2 spoons of milk into it, leave the glass undisturbed for 30 minutes. What do you observe? The whole water in the glass becomes milky white. 
This is because the molecules of milk fill the space between the molecules of water. Liquids flow due to the movement of their molecules. Liquids do not have a definite shape. We can hold them in a container. Liquids take the shape of the container. If a cup of water is poured into different containers, the water will take the shape of the containers. However, liquids have a fixed volume. A glass of water will take the same amount of water even when its container is changed. Liquids take the shape of the container. Gases The molecules in gases are far apart from one another. Therefore, there is hardly any attraction between the molecules in a gas. The molecules of gases move around freely in any direction. We cannot hold them in an open container. They fill the entire space in a closed container. Therefore, gases have no fixed shape or volume. So you can see the arrangement of molecules in gases and the example is a balloon. Properties of solids, liquids and gases Solids, liquids, gases Solids, fixed shape Liquids, take the shape of container Gases, no fixed shape Solids, fixed volume Liquids, fixed volume Gases, no fixed volume Solids, negligible space between molecules Liquids, some space between molecules Gases, lots of space between molecules Solids, very strong attraction between molecules Liquids, not so strong attraction between molecules Gases, very weak attraction between molecules Solids, only vibrate at their fixed position Liquids, move around within the liquid Gases, move freely in all directions Task 4 Light an incense stick in one corner of your room After some time, it can be smelt in other corners of the room too Why? The stick releases scented smoke on burning The molecules of smoke soon fill the entire room Change of states We have already seen how water changes into water vapor on heating and to ice on cooling The states of matter can be changed when the matter is heated or cooled. In the next page, you can read the different changes of state that can take place in matter. Melting On heating, a solid melts to form a liquid. What happens when butter is put on a hot toast? It melts. Likewise, if you leave ice cream outside the freezer for some time, it melts. The process by which a solid changes into a liquid on heating is known as melting. When solids are heated, the molecules begin to vibrate faster. They are able to overcome the strong force of attraction between themselves. They begin to move around. This is how solids change into liquid on heating. Evaporation on heating a liquid, evaporates to form a gas. Water changes into water vapor on heating. The process by which a liquid changes into vapor, its gases form on heating is known as evaporation. On heating, the molecules of the liquid start moving faster. They overcome the intermolecular force of attraction and freely move out. This is how a liquid changes into vapor on heating. Condensation On cooling, a gas condenses into a liquid. When the water vapor in air cools down because of the cold surroundings, it changes into water droplets. The process by which a vapor changes into its liquid form on cooling is called condensation. How are water droplets formed on the outer surface of a glass with cold water? 
when air touches the cold surface of the glass the water vapor in the air gets cooled and condenses to form water droplets on cooling the molecules of a gas come closer and condense to form its liquid form freezing on cooling a liquid freezes into a solid the process by which a liquid changes into its solid state on cooling is known as freezing when water is kept in a freezer it turns into ice it happens because on cooling the molecules of a liquid attract each other more and become tightly packed this makes the liquid change to its solid form fascinating fact solid carbon dioxide also called dry ice changes directly into gaseous carbon dioxide without going through its liquid state expansion and contraction on heating the molecules of a substance they vibrate more they require a little extra space for vibrating more this increases the volume of the substance the increase in the volume of a substance because of heating is known as expansion two different substances might show different amounts of expansion when heated equally on heating solids expand very little liquids expand more than solids and gases expand the most a mercury thermometer is used to measure our body temperature the mercury in the thermometer expands because of the heat of our body and it rises in the thin tube the mark to which mercury has expanded is read as the body temperature on the other hand when things are cold the molecules vibrate lesser and come close to each other they require less space thus things contract on cooling different things contract differently on equal amount of cooling on cooling solids contract the least liquids contract more than solids and gases contract the most the mercury in a thermometer expands due to the heat of our body changes in our surrounding we see a number of changes around us all the time evaporation and freezing of water ripening of fruits and growth of plants and animals are all changes that we often see around us the changes around us can be categorized into two main types physical change and chemical change physical change no new substance is formed in physical change we can easily get back the original substance for example water changes into ice on freezing the molecules in ice are the same as that in water the ice changes back to water on melting so this is a physical change tearing of paper blowing a balloon folding a dress breaking of a glass mixing of sand and water are some more examples of physical changes chemical change in a chemical change one or more new substances are formed we cannot easily get back the original substance when a piece of paper is burnt it gives out smoke and ash both smoke and ash are new substances we cannot get back paper from smoke and ash so this is a chemical change cooking food burning fuels making cheese curd from milk rusting of iron and decomposition of dead plants and animals are some more examples of chemical changes let's sum up things around us are made of matter the mass of a thing is measured by its weight in nature matter exists in three different states solid liquid and gas the states of matter can be changed when the matter is heated or cooled there are two types of changes around us physical change and chemical change